hi everyone welcome to the youtube channel in this video we will see how to connect qcoin to the google authenticator so if you're trying to secure your qcoin account and by enabling the two-factor authentication then google authenticator is one of the best options for it by doing that whenever you try to log in you have to pass through this authenticator by that no other person could do it so you can secure your account and Google Authenticator is one of the most secure authenticators that why it is considered to be used for every other app. So in this video, we will see how we can connect the Qcoin and Google Authenticator. So first, you have to make sure that you have both of these apps, Qcoin and Google Authenticator. If you're using the iPhone, then you have to head towards the App Store. But if you're using Android, then you have to go to the Google Play Store, open it up and search for Qcoin. Make sure you get the same app and you also have to look for Google Authenticator. Make sure this is the same one by the Google LLC. After that, you just have to simply get back and open the Qcoin. Make sure you already have created your account onto it. And once you have created this, simply click onto its icon to open the Qcoin app. After clicking it, it will just take a while to load. And after that, you will see this interface. As you can see, we have a lot of different options up here at the bottom, at the top and everywhere. You have to click onto this top left option which has an icon of me if you have uploaded any picture it will be there so you have to simply click onto this option and after that your settings or maybe you can see profile will open where you can see all these options so every option here is different from each other and as it's on purpose that it performs in this app you have to go with this option which is a security one and at the top you will see its title of security and all these options so all these options are related to somehow security it will help you to secure your account so from all these options you can see we have here this option for google verification it says no one configured you have to simply click onto it and after that you have to simply enable your verification of google up here so what first you have to do is that you first have to simply enter your verification code so you have to click on send it will send a verification code to your email address you have to get it paste up here and click on confirm once you have pasted your password, click on confirm and after that it says download Google Authenticator. So here we have already did. Therefore, you have to click on this option already installed continue which is at the bottom. If you have not done yet, you can do it at the moment. Otherwise, if you have so then just simply go with this last option. And now what you have to do is that either you can scan it if you have the Google Authenticator on another device. But if you have the authenticator in the same device, then you have to just simply copy that key. So you can see this is the copy key so you have to copy it and after that you have to paste it in the google authenticator once you have done it simply get back click on authenticator and after that just simply sign up with your account now here what you have to do is that you have to click on this option which is enter a setup key and the copy key that you have done from here you have to simply paste up here and after that you will get a key that you have to again paste in qcoin and after that your google verification authentication has been done right now it says not configured but you don't have to worry you just have to simply close the app and reopen and go to the same settings there you will see it says that changed that means it is on and if you want to change it you can do it so same go to the option and after that go to security and there in google verification you can see it says change that means you can change it and right now it is set so whenever you have to do any kind of transaction any kind of payment or any kind of selling buying you have to get this google verification so this verification does not only work for login it also works for the transaction any kind of payment so you can see how much your account will be secured if you turn on the google verification so that's how google verification works i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates you can also press the bell icon button so whenever a new video gets uploaded you can get notified if you have any queries feel free to ask in the comment section below and is there a specific topic that you're looking for please may mention in the comment section below we will try to cover it also do remember to leave a like, comment and share the video and at the last thank you so much for watching the video till the very end.